I mean, just tons of excitement, if I'm being honest with you. I mean, what a grind. I mean, what a grinded out win. Uh, ebbs and flows, highs and lows. Um, it was a complete team win, and I think that's what it was. All three phases, Dean Janikowski was nails making those field goals. Uh, offense did enough. We turned the ball over. Defense made a big play. Ethan O'Connor's pick six. I mean, just a game changer. Uh, things went our way at the end. We said one thing last night. Let's get the game to the fourth quarter, and we're going to grind it out for a win, and that's what our team did. What did you see on uh, Ethan's pick six? How do you pull that off? Good call by Jeff. I mean, we've been soft in the flat, you know, really kind of all night, and then he went with a, you know, a Tampa 2 look, a little bit of a disguise. Ethan has a knack for the ball. I mean, he just does. Even his pick that got taken away, that's just a heck of a play. So, obviously, to take it the distance feels good and much needed at that point in the game in the fourth quarter and allowed us to win this football game. What did you make of John's game today? You know, two turnovers, uh, just kind of overall thoughts on his game. Yeah, I mean, you know, I talked to him a little bit coming in. I think he's definitely bummed out. I think some of the offensive guys are bummed out. But winning ugly is pretty. You know, it really is. And he'll have tons of learns from this. We really kind of stalled out in the red zone. That's where the one fumble was. Obviously, you know, the pick, he signaled to the guy. I think he knew where it was going. Great play by that kid. We got to be better. We got to protect him better. We got to get the ball out in space better so there'll be a lot of learns. But it's way better learning from a win. I know that. So this is our place to play. I mean, there's another packed house. That's two road games with sellout crowds. I mean, it was a tough environment. So uh, to grind out a win was huge. Just talk a little bit about Ethan O'Connor. I know the the two picks, uh, or I should say, one pick that yeah. actually Matt that actually counted. Uh, just what he's meant to this team so far. Still a redshirt freshman. I think loads of talent. You know, one of those guys that we're still working on some of the intangible pieces to continue to get better. But when he stays in the moment and he deletes mistakes, he's as good as there is. And he's just getting started, right? Wait till we get another year of weight training and speed training and. You know, he'll see it in a, even a faster way, but he loves the challenge. I love how he responded. You know, we got off the field on a third down, but he had hands to the face. That's maturity. That's growth. That's what we need in this football team. So great effort by the defense, you know, not just Ethan. I mean, to hold this offense to what they did, a couple big takeaways, even the one before the end of the half to give us another opportunity with the ball was huge. So great game plan by Coach Smedding and that execution by the players. Uh, besides the first two drives, I mean, it, it felt like a task to try and get the ball towards the red zone. Um, was it something that Fresno State was doing, or was it something you guys weren't executing? Well, they were really inefficiently running the ball, and I don't think the effort to want to run it was there enough. I know they were stout at the defensive front, and they're as big as I've seen at linebacker. I mean, those are some big dudes out there, but uh, we got to stay ahead of the chains running the football. So there'll be some learns there, um, you know, just some call stuff that we got to stay with it a little bit more and. You know, I think you saw some of the explosive stuff early. They did a good job showing us some stuff that we hadn't seen. You know, they did a, kind of a little bit of the Washington scheme. They ran some, some bear shade. They went some man. They dropped some different guys. They gave us some different looks. And I think John at times was just a touch hesitant on some of those things. So we'll, we'll grow and get better and come back ready to attack next week. You talked about it, it was a battle. I mean, when you guys played Washington, it was a battle towards the very end, a battle here towards the end. The, the end. What does uh, this say about your team? Another culture win. You know, we came in in January and said, you know, we're minus 98 the last two years in the fourth quarter. And to go in and win another game in the fourth quarter, it's big for our guys. It's big for their momentum. It's big for their mental process. I, let's not act like they didn't hear the noise. You know, can you guys keep going after a, a fast start? And we wanted to write that story, not somebody else. So to come on the road, get a big win, it's a great step in that direction. Oh, go ahead. No, go ahead. Hey. Uh, pass throw seemed like he kind of mucked up there, final drive, just you know, forcing Keen to get out and throw. Not really the case for, you know, 90% of the game, it seems like. One, like, what did you see in that first part of the game where they weren't, like, you know, doing you know, much and then to actually break through in the end? How did that all you know, come together? I think, I mean, obviously at the end we know they're passing. Yeah. Uh, they're no longer play action passing and keeping tight ends in and doing some of those things. So our guys are just cut loose, ready to go. Uh, you know, some of the issue this year has been, you know, our third downs have been more third and medium, right, than third and long or extra long where we can go rush. And we're still growing with some of those things. we we got to be better affecting the passer. I think we got one sack maybe tonight. So we got to grow in that area. So we'll we'll identify a bunch of things, Greg, that we got to improve on. So I, I believe this team wants to come back and, and improve on those things and get ready for next week. You mentioned it, uh, getting to go back home and for homecoming, you know, getting to refocus a little bit. Uh, yeah. I mean, what is it? mean to get back and uh, be back in front of the home fans to have all these sold out crowds. 
Feels like it's been a long time since we've been on Giza Field, so it's homecoming. You know, I know it should take a lot of pride in that, and, and there's a challenge to it. You know, we just played in front of sold out Boise, sold out Fresno. Damn sure better play in front of a sold out Giza Field on homecoming, right? Against a good Hawaii team coming in, uh, going to be ultra competitive game. You know, so it's a challenge to Cougs out there. Let's sell out our stadium. Let's create edges right, with these noise. Um, you know, but just excited about getting back home. Uh, second straight game where John, where right before halftime, John ends up throwing a pick. You know, you guys not get a chance to score. Um, what do you or like? What is he seeing in those spots? And like, what can you guys do to kind of you know kind of curb that? I think the first, they're all they're all created, not equal. You know what I mean, Greg? So first one, he really really forced it. This one, he saw a man check something, and I just think he never held the, the middle safety and man coverage. You know, like where he went. Um, we just got to be a little bit more diverse in some of our things and signals and that type of stuff. But he's got to learn from it, you know, because those are, you know, in a tight ball game, swinging one way or another, those are, you know, tough, tough situations to handle. So, like I said, I thought our defense responded every time they had an opportunity to come back out in the field. That's team football sometimes. You got to pick each other up and a credit to the defense to go out and do that after some of those takeaways. You get the sense that teams are kind of keying in on John's like running ability and kind of making some adjustments. Well, I think you that. have to. You know, I think you do. I think you can't let him get out of the pocket. And he's got to be a little bit more decisive when that happens. I know there was a couple throwaway opportunities uh, in tonight's game instead of, you know, took a sack instead of just throw it away. You know, you can't make all the plays. You know, I think early, you know, sometimes you make some of those scramble, run around uh, plays. You think you can do it every time, and there's a balance to that. So he'll see that. But we got to get more on rhythm on offense, and I thought that was a good defense. Um, you know, but that's passing rhythm, it's running rhythm, it's using John appropriately. But uh, you know, we did enough tonight to win a football game. Are you good with coach. Uh, yeah, one more. You mentioned the uh, like rhythm on offense. Like, what do you think is kind of the main problem there? And we can. Well, I got to see the film. You know, I just kind of seeing things. You know, live. Um, some of it's pressure. You know, some of it's just being on reads. Some of it's routes. I mean, it's everything. It if it was just one thing, we would just easily fix that. So we got to look at it. And, you know, we've been going against some pretty good defenses, but it's our time to start getting back in rhythm and being explosive. And I know we're capable of doing that.